is back today to talk about um, apostrophes and where we put them in our writing. Okay, a lot of the time um, boys put apostrophes where they're trying to show plural more than one thing. So the only time we ever use apostrophes, um, the first one is for contractions. Now contractions is when two words, um, we want to shorten them and we so we put them together and letters pop out. We put an apostrophe where those letters would be. So I'm using a word like wheel today. So it is short for we will. So the W and the I pop out and we replace it with an apostrophe. Another word might be don't. Do not. So the O has popped out and we're using an apostrophe in its place. The second time we use an apostrophe is to show possession. When something I is owned by something, by somebody. Okay, so possession means when there is um, a singular one like Jane's bike. Who owns the bike? Jane does. We have an apostrophe S. Where that's different, if you're like me and you've got two dogs at home, I would say that you need to put the apostrophe after the S. So not just one dog, two dogs dinner. Okay, let's look at the sentence I've got up here. We're using the two kinds of apostrophes in the one sentence. So wheel, we need an apostrophe between the we and the double L. We'll be late to Blake's party. Whose party? Showing possession by having E apostrophe S. If we don't, hurry. Now, that can end with a, a full stop. It might even be an exclamation mark. Okay. If you want some more information, there's some really great clips um, on our Google site. Click on that and I think you'll be far more comfortable using apostrophes in the future. Bye.